Lands, an athletic lady from the villages, senior lady, and she had the typical just drag the bat around, barn door swing. Watch, there's the bat only comes around as fast as her hips turn. She tends to have an uppercut swing like most hitters do. And the ball that she hits the best is a low pitch like that. She could square it up sometimes, but then other times she'd be over the top of it, rolling over the top, and uh, could not hit any pitch that was really chest high, which is going to be a bread and butter for most hitters. Watch the starting stance here. Her knuckles aren't lined up, the knocking knuckles, and the knob is aiming down. She doesn't get the hands back all the way. That's something else we worked on that she didn't quite master, but she got better at. But watch the knob go down, it comes back up, the bat head drops, and there's not a second level of bat speed. Watch one of the DeMarini pros here. Watch how much more level that bat is, and watch how the hands, they drive ahead so you get a defined snap or whip of the bat around the wrist. Look at that, you don't see that right here, everything's the same speed. You get that double pendulum when you create a lag, like right here. Drive the hands forward, create a lag, and then like cracking a whip or casting a fishing pole, the bat head whips through. Again, another lady. And, and you'll see the pitches that are lower, the hand path goes down to the point of impact. It doesn't golf up. Look at the great snap she gets there, great whip of the bat head around. Combine that with the snap of the uh, hips open, you get a double pendulum. So watch here on the perfect snap. Look at she's just kind of pushing the head, dragging it around. This is uh, Jeremiah Hardesty, one of the top distance-wise 40 hitters. In with the lag here, driving the hands, hips rotation, the rear hip coming around, drives the hands forward to create a lag. See how she just kind of pushes it there? So that was a real learning curve for Leanne to try to get to the point where she could create that lag and snap. We use a swing simulator initially, and she's driving around and lunging ahead. She's not really driving, I should say she's dragging around and her upper body doesn't stay put. So we worked on stabbing it, creating a stab and then going into the snap, which was good. And then we had to get her to push the shoulder back so she rotated and the rotation of the hips and the upper body would drive it around. Uh, you can see she comes up over the top, she's just dragging it off the tee here again. So we had to keep working on that. There's no lag and snap right here. There's a drive of the hands ahead off the hip rotation, the shoulder rotation. Here it's just being, the hand, the bat actually propels the head of the hands because it's being dragged around. So we kept working on it. It got better as time went along. Dr tried to just continue to drive the hands forward and get more level in at the bottom. A good cut swing there. Not 100%, but you can see the speed is better. And they see even on the pride of swing. There's a couple different changes in speed, but at least she's getting the drive ahead. So now we worked on setting that swing simulator at a down angle. And this is a much more defined lag, drive of the hands forward, and then snap, flow into the snap, act snap. And the rope drill, just great. You can drag the rope around. Look at she gets a drive of the hands forward right towards the bottom half of the ball. Now bringing the hands back like Frank Henry. Look how well he brings his hands back so he's connected. Now she doesn't quite bring him back nearly nearly far enough, but right here you can see that adjustment so she gets the knob so it's more, it's more on playing with the ball. But on the slow motion swings here afterwards, look at it, it's just a dramatically different swing. She increased from 49 to 57 miles an hour. And just look at how much flatter, it's a good start, a great start, you know. She's 60 years old and that's a great swing right there. And it's hard to change habits fast, but it was remarkable how well she changed it. Then when we went live at the end, she just did a phenomenal job of, of changing an old swing into something that's going to be very powerful and something great for her. She cuts that one right there, and then uh, you can see it's a much more flat swing. So, oh, yeah. excellent job, and let's watch the live. Good. Oh, yeah. 48 yeah. miles per hour. Oh, there you go. 57 miles per hour. Oh, there you go. 57 miles per hour. I followed through and I hit downwards and it was a good hit. Oh, oh yeah. 58 Ooh, miles per hour. There you go. 47 nice miles per hour. Oh, good shot. 56 Ooh, miles beautiful. per hour. It was a great camp. Leanne, with the rest of the campers, swung the DeMarini. Uh, Denny Krein, Larry Carter, Paul Sadler bats using the Evil BP Rockets and the 44-375 Evils and the uh, use of the GT. Thank them for the, all the hard work and a great job at camp.